I don't know about you, but I love color. Color plays such an important role in how we feel about a space, whether it's inside, whether it's outside or inside the home. But let's take the garden for instance. I got a few basic principles that I always follow when using color in the garden. For instance, I divide color into three parts. Not anything like the color wheel, just three simple color blocks. I go with warm colors, neutral colors, and hot colors. Let me give you an example of the neutrals. Well, green, in my opinion, is a neutral color. Gray is a neutral color. And over here you can see this is a gray, green, neutral color as represented here with this Ely Agnes hedge. So neutral colors can make the perfect backdrop for a planting. And you can see here I've followed a certain theme with pinks with these Rockapulco double impatience. They're really beautiful, planted in a mass. You see, also the amount of color you use is important. I like to choose a single color family and then paint with a really broad brush. And that's what I've done here with this big drift of impatience. There are 25 plants here, all growing together and blooming in moss. The results, well, they're stunning. Let's take a look in the front. So what I mean by color family is if you choose a pink, stay with all pinks, all of the cool or warm pinks, decide one or the other. For instance, here I've used purple and hot pink and it's echoed over on this side of the bed where I have purple ageratum, coleus, blue salvia, and this purple fountain grass. So I'm staying within the same color family here. Blues and purples here, blues and purples there. What you get is this echo back and forth. That helps the garden feel more harmonious. You have a consistency that's going on. It's restful to the eye. Now let's talk about foliage versus bloom over here. So take a look at this chartreuse coleus. Pretty remarkable, I think. If you take the idea that foliage can bring bold color, and coleus is a great way to do it, juxtapose bright colored flowers like these royal velvet supertunias, you can get some remarkable combinations. I just love the electric color of the coleus with these deep saturated purple colors as well as this light lavender phlox. Now come on here, I wanna show you something else. Now this coleus is called Sedona, and you can see that it is very warm with its color. And look at the grass behind it. That's giant purple fountain grass. I think they're a great combination if you want to heat things up. Juxtapose again, this really bright lifeline coleus over here. You see the beauty of having seasons is that you can change out the color from time to time. If you get tired of it, you can rotate it. For instance, in this garden, I rotate the color out in every season. In the spring, I'll have all kinds of tulips, daffodils, hyacinths. This gives a soft pastel look. In the summer, I can bump up the color and make it even bolder. And in the fall, I can use distinctly autumnal colors here. It makes it very interesting in season after season. 